A rough day along Lake Ontario with windy conditions and high waters battering the shoreline. June is starting for boaters just as bad, maybe even worse than the way May ended. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski was at the Port of Oswego today where the authority has two battles on its hands. Things haven't gotten any better for the Port of Oswego since we first chronicled their battle with high Lake Ontario water levels about a month ago. Actually, they're kind of worse, repeatedly being battered by wind and water, and they're trying to keep it from impacting commerce there. We've had to go through uh, emergency measures. We're pumping out things we don't pump out. We've blocked off drains. We have sandbagged our warehouse. At the southern end of the port is the Oswego Marina, which is the original Port of Oswego and still owned by the authority. It's for recreational, leisure boaters, fishing charter captains, things like that. And it's not immune from record high water either. So you put this in sometime in the spring. How long after you put it in was the water already starting to go over? About two or three weeks. Wow. It, we got to get so fast. Wow. So they stopped putting in these docks and brainstormed another idea, a floating dock. What they do is drive steel casings several feet into the deep marina and then put a dock on it that can float on those casings to the level of the water. The key to making sure they're usable and most importantly safe is a brake system at the end to keep it steady. Even when it rocks in the water, you're still... And it's, ro it's rocking pretty good right now, but I don't feel like in any way like I'm going to fall off. No, nope, and that's important. The marina team is busy building more right now. The goal is to get 10 of these floating docks into the marina this season. It'll go along with the gas and pump out dock built last year with record high water levels in mind. I think this is a new normal now in the lake. And they're hoping these solutions will keep the boating season afloat for themselves and all the other people who enjoy it. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9.